history of farinata, a traditional Italian meal based on chickpeas, begins eight centuries ago, to be more precise, 737 years ago, to be even more precise, on the 6th of August, 1284, during the Feast of San Sisto, the patron saint of the city of Pisa, the same Pisa that is famous throughout the world for its leaning tower. Farinata was born completely by mistake, during, of all things, a naval battle. That distant day, on the waters of the Secca della Maloria, near Livorno in Tuscany, a Genovese fleet under the command of the great politician and admiral Alberto Doria faced down against the naval forces of the Pisans. Genova successfully outmaneuvered Pisa, thanks to 30 vessels led by the daring adventurer Benedetto Zaccaria that were hidden behind the Punto di Montenero, emerging only as the battle had begun, thus swelling the numbers of the Genoese fleet at sea and catching the Pisans completely off guard. It was a real massacre. The semi-destroyed Pisan fleet counted 5,000 dead and 12,000 taken prisoner. They were chained and brought to Genova, where many of them died in hunger and hardship without ever being released. During the sea voyage from Pisa to Genova, a galley full of prisoners was left behind and got caught in a storm which shook the hull of the ship, shattering the jars of oil and tearing open many bags of chickpeas, which mixed with the oil and the seawater. Then when the storm was over, the Genoese sailors looked at the yellow mush and, so as not to waste it, decided to feed it to the prisoners. Some of them refused to eat the yellow paste, but the hungriest of them gulped it down anyway. And to his surprise, and the surprise of every man on that ship, tasted great. So good, in fact, that the sailors decided to heat it up for their supper that very evening. In order to heat the yellow puree over a fire, they used round copper shields called pesto that were the spoils of war from a previous skirmish with some Saracen ships. The meal was excellent, and the heavy copper shields thus became the prototype for testi, the same copper containers that are still used today to bake the farinata. In the following centuries, farinata spread all across the Mediterranean and following the migration of thousands from Liguria province, whose capital is Genova, onto South America, but now under the name of faina. In fact, in Montevideo, Uruguay, El Dia del Autentico Faina is still celebrated on the 27th of August, a hundred years and counting. How to make a farinata? Making a farinata is very simple. Put into a container, preferably a copper one, one part chickpea flour, three parts water, extra virgin olive oil and salt. Put it into the oven, preferably in the heat of olive wood, and allow it to melt and mix. It's best served piping hot because the heat contributes to the flavor. And better still, with a glass of good white wine. Farinata is yet another example of the uniqueness and quality of popular Italian cuisine. Simple and essential. <laughs>